What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor and this is Tay's Toys. I'm wearing the same stuff I wore in the last video because it's the same day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna pretend it's not. And we're gonna be okay with it because it's not about me. It's about these figures. And I got a few figures uh, for us today from Simply Toys. Um, I also have a few things, a couple blind boxes and some plushes actually from Japan You Want Kawaii. Um, a few blind boxes and I also got some stickers because I don't know. I don't need the stickers. I don't even stick stickers on things really because I want to hoard them and keep them because I think I need to save these for the right moment and I just don't use them. Um, Maybe I'll use these, maybe I won't. But you'll see in a second what these are. <laughs> um, is that all we got for today? Yes, it is. Um, let's get into it. Should we do blind boxes, plushies, stickers? I don't know. Let's do the stickers since we just talked about it. And I just basically show them to you. Get them out the way. So this is from Japan You Want Kawaii. Um, their website, really good website, lots of stuff. Lots of Sanrio, Son X, and others. Um, I got these really cute Rilakkuma stickers. Um, the packaging's cute and holographic. The stickers themselves are like puffy and they have like, star glitter in them or whatever. And they're like Radley. Nice sound effects. Can you hear it? <laughs> so yeah, we have Rilakkuma, Kirilakkuma, and Kiratori. Per use, the squad is together. Um, it'd be cute if I could put these on a phone case or something. I don't know. I want to. I want to put these to good use. Maybe I'll put them around my collection, like my display boxes or whatnot. And the other sticker package is um, Sentimental Circus from Sun X. I was like really tempted to get one or two of these plushies but i'm trying really hard not to get plushies uh, i failed because i just told you i bought plushes in this haul uh, but these are so cute it's like the perfect like spooky cute i love it cross stitch patchwork bunnies adorbs um so i decided to reel it in and not get too many plushies and just get these stickers and see if that could hold me over We'll see. Um, I don't want to get plushies because I just feel like it's a rabbit hole. I'm not ready to fall down. I fell down the rabbit hole hard with blind box figures. Um, I don't know. It's one thing to have a lot of blind box figures, but I just feel like plushies is like another thing. They take up more space. They <laughs> um, plushies take up more space, they can get dirty, I don't know, I don't want them to like fill up my bed or bedroom, I'd, I'd rather keep my, my stuff, my collection in like a collection area where I can have it on display or hidden if I want, I like having that versatility and plushies, they just kind of break through that, uh, break through that barrier, they cross the line. But um, speaking of plushes, let's get into it. <laughs> so I am going to preface this, I guess. I really love sea slugs, nudibranchs. <laughs> I think they're so cute. Um, I just think they're, they're so adorable. Like, they're like the tiniest little things. If you don't know, I'll put up some images maybe. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy um there's youtube videos of them just just vibing they're just vibes they're soft little angels like they look like little gummies or i don't know they just look out of this world they're beautiful they're artistic looking they're just vibing they're just in the ocean just being little slugs um my dream would be to have like an aquarium of them and just vibe similar to like jellyfish or cuttlefish I'm also really obsessed with 
um, <laughs> I actually um, bought some like gachapon like, cheap uh, sea slug figures. I don't think I showed them on this channel. I'm looking at them right now. They're like five little miniature figures of sea slugs. They're very basic. Um, so I say all that to say <laughs> that's why I bought these plushies because I couldn't resist. Um, these are by San X. They're kind of like lumped in with Jinbei Sama, Jinbei San. Jinbei and the crew, the aquatic San X characters. Uh, if you don't know, San X is, I guess, like the company that does Rilakuma. Um, so yeah, anyways, it was hard to say no, so I didn't. <laughs> and I ended up getting these two plushies. Um, <laughs> they are so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> so it's like, here it is. <laughs> um, it's like a sea slug that either ate a little bear. It looks like Kuri Lakuma almost by the face. Um, or it's a little bear wearing a sea slug costume. Um, but there's the sea slug's little, little eyes uh, and its little uh, ears, if you will. Their antenna. It's a little booty antenna, um, which looks like a little heart, or sometimes it, it looks like a little ball sack to me, um, but it's not. <laughs> it's their little, their sensory organs, uh, if you want to get into it, uh, YouTube is, is there for you. Uh, but they're so cute, and they're really, really soft, like much softer and like a higher quality than, than I was anticipating. Like it feels really, really good to cuddle, it's bouncy, it's squishy. I love the details it gave. It's got its little, little frillies. Um, I don't know. It's not a fin, but little sea slug frills, or maybe it's like the bear or whoever's arms coming through. I think it's adorable. And then I got a little miniature version of it in a different color. Um, yeah, just a, a, a cute little guy, or gal. Um, Super cute. The frill is really nice. It's a different material than the rest of the body. Um, cute little spot details. Yeah, super cute. I'm like worried about this being white, but they didn't really have another color available for me, so that's what we got. Um, I thought that maybe. There we go. I'm getting distracted by how cute they are. I thought that maybe I would try and fit these into my collection. Um, but this puppy is just a little bit too big for where I was thinking of putting it. So for now, they're chilling with me on the bed. Um, they're brand new, so I'm really loving on them a lot. Um, yeah, I really hope this doesn't like become a domino effect of me becoming a plushy hoarder again, like I was when I was younger. Um, but super cute, sea slugs, get into it if you're not. Um, <laughs> and along the San X line, I have two Sumiko Gurashi blind boxes. These are um, the stacking figures, so you can kind of stack them like you can see on the boxes. It would have been cute to get the whole set, but I think I was trying to be somewhat responsible with my spending and wanted to try out getting just a couple. So let's see who we got. Um, I guess I don't really care too much who we get, um, but I'm not a huge fan of white, just because, you know, you would rather get color, right? Um, so, Shirokuma, you know, maybe not a first pick, um, but the others I'm, I'm down for. I guess a little chicken cutlet, uh, tonkatsu, eh, maybe not a first pick either, um, but the other buddies would be cute. Watch me just jinx myself, and those are the two I get. <laughs> Let's see who we got. Oh, cute. Um, a lot smaller than I was anticipating. Like, so small. They really looked quite chonkous on the boxes and in their display photos, but, you know, it do what it do. So this is Neko and Zasso. Um, I have appreciated Sumiko Garashi for, for years, but never dove deep into like knowing the characters or remembering their names or if there was really any lore at all to them. Um, and so this 
little buddy that this cat has, it just looks like marijuana. Like, I know it's not, like maybe it's, what, cat grass, catnip, since this is a cat? Um, I guess I could like look it up, but whenever I see this, I just think of a weed plant. Um, but I suppose that this little grass buddy sits on top of the cat, if you can balance it. But there it is, super cute. Real small, very small, um, but that's kind of like their brand. They just kind of collect in the corner of a room or on a surface somewhere and they're just kind of like, almost like little soot sprites. Like they just kind of end up somewhere collecting together, being cute. Yeah, we love that. And it actually works out that it's smaller because the collection do be collecting. I'm like running out of room, having to get smart and strategic with my placement of things. Okay, let's see who we got in this next one. Oh, so we got <laughs> the little chicken cutlet or whatever um, that I said I wasn't super excited to get. That's how that goes. Yeah, so this is tonkatsu and ebi furai no shippo. Um, I think I'm right in saying that this is some sort of like fried food, which is kind of weird. Uh, I may be wrong, but it at least looks like it. They're cute. <laughs> it's like, I'm not big into like food as a like display, as like a figure. Like I don't really like food themed things. Um, you know, this looks like a tater tot. <laughs> Looks like a little tater tot, but it's got a cute nose. And this little thing, more or less the same, but it has a bow. <laughs> Super cute. So I guess we can stack the big figures on top of each other however we want. Because their bellies are kind of um, concave. Uh, and so we can stack those. That's cute. And then we can, um, you know, put their little their little buddies on top of or next to them. I wonder if the little buddies can stack too. Don't want to drop these because they're not like magnetic or anything. Can we stack the miniatures on top of each other? Maybe, it'd be really risky. But we could put our little um, grass, herb, plant on top of this little tater tot. So that'd be cute. <laughs> um, yeah, that's adorable. I may end up getting more uh, blind boxes from that so I can try and complete the set. Maybe I should have just held out and bought the whole set as it was. Whatevs, these are cute. I'll be happy to add them to the collection. Um, and it's good to grow the Sonex and Sanrio family. Um, oh, speaking of Sanrio, so this package is from Simply Toys and they are some Sanrio figures. I think they're miniature figures. Um, and I think they're really cute. I've seen them before in Simply Toys and... I don't know, I didn't pick them up. I think maybe they were out of stock at the time or I was okay with just saying, hey, that's cute and kept it, kept it pushing. Um, but I recently bought a display case, a Sanrio display case. And I think I showed it on the channel. Oh, excuse me, that was gross. Um, I got it, I got a display case <laughs> and it has the Sanrio characters in like a cafe theme uh, and it's really cute and I had at the same time received um, some Pucky Rabbit Cafe blind box figures and thought that that would be cute. I have the cafe themed figures in the cafe themed case and they do mostly fit but there's a couple figures that are too tall to fit in the display case, which is unfortunate. Um, so I may move the Pucky figures out of there and put these miniature figures in there because these, these figures are like sweets themed. And I know I literally just said I didn't like food related figures, um, but like sweets is different, you know? <laughs> like I don't want to look at hamburgers and french fries in my figures. But sweets is cute. 
And so are these figures. They're super small. I knew they would be, but this is like, baby. Save that box, because I probably forgot something in it. But this is the size that we're working with. Very small. And the first, first stop, we got the best boy, Cinnamon Roll. Let's get him out of this plastic imprisonment. Yeah, these will definitely fit in that display case. I'm okay with having, having these really miniature figures because I have figures of all sizes and I think it adds some visual interest to have different size figures in your display. So it comes with this little plate with a little teddy bear on it and some stars. And then the boy himself um, is wearing blue, his typical colors. He's got some sort of treat with him chocolate covered something, marshmallow or puff of some sort. It's really cute. Love him. And then they go on their little plate together. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. So thankfully these little figures are, are really hardy. Um, Jesus, just threw the boy on the ground. I don't think I messed this up. I drop my blind box figures all the time. But those vinyl figures are chunky and we haven't had any issues yet. I may potentially have scratched off some paint just now because uh, these little miniature figures aren't like the most high quality. I think you can see a little chip maybe. Uh, roll the tapes back. That might not have been there before the drop. We'll be careful for the next ones. Um, and so for the next ones, we also got, do 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 do, Po Chaco. <laughs> and now that I'm thinking about it, I think this is my first Pachaco figure in my collection, which is criminal. Pachaco's cute. Pachaco is in like a little ice cream sundae bowl, some like vanilla ice cream with some chocolate sauce, and a very cute little... Uh, ice cream dish. Pachaco right on the front, you can see. Very cute. He's got a dirty forehead though. Yeah, not the cleanest. I don't know if there's like a paint transfer or if it got dirty. So it's not the end of the world. These minifigures are a little bit, you know, less in quality than their bigger ones. Next up, we have our girl Lala from Little Twin Stars coming out of the bag. She also has a plate. I guess Pachaco doesn't get a plate since he has his own dish. Um, I'm going to try not to drop this. So Little Twin Star, you can see her shooting star. Very cute. Got like a little doily detail on there. And... Lala herself is resting on what looks like a donut um, or like a little cake. She's really cute. She's got a little white bow on her. Lots of pink and white in this figure. She's really sweet. She's just taking a nap. She just got so tuckered out eating sweets. And then here's her on her plate, which we're not going to drop. Super cute. And then because we got Lala, we had to get Kiki. Could not break up a family. I guess they didn't have any other characters in this series. I feel like I got all that were available. Let's check back and see if there are more in this series and they just didn't have them or maybe this is all that they made for this run. Um, but here's Lala's plate or Kiki, sorry. Same as his sister is just blue. And here's Lala, Kiki, dang it. <laughs> this is Kiki uh, with his little chocolate muffin. It's got some cute purple little sprinkle stars in there. I really like this one. I think that's super cute. This might be my favorite next to cinnamon roll because cinnamon roll is always gonna be the favorite. But yeah, this is really cute. This muffin is bigger than Kiki is, that's for sure. 
and Kiki on the plate, serving it up. Can't even see him over the muffin. So cute. <laughs> it's precious. Yeah, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's gonna be really exciting, putting them in that display. Um, maybe I'll put some B-roll of them in their new home. And who knows, they're small enough, they might be able to fit with some of those Pucky Cafe figures. Uh, or not, maybe I'll just get some more miniature Sanrio figures to add to that. Um, oh man, I think that's it. I think that was the end of the haul. Um, super cute. I love these little miniature Sanrio figures. Uh, the Sumiko Garashi is also nice. Um, but of course, uh, the standouts for this haul, the sea slugs. <laughs> They're so adorable. Um, I want all of you to like go look up sea slug YouTube videos or pictures online and please join my cult. Um, you won't be disappointed, that's for sure. Maybe pick up some of these plushes, I don't know, or maybe save them for me or buy them so I don't buy all of them. But these are definitely my favorites from this haul. What do you think? Are they weird? Do you think they look like dumb and ugly? Uh, if you do, don't tell me. Uh, just tell me that you think they're super cute. <laughs> um, but that's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know who is your favorite from this video. Um, and until next time, bye. <laughs> okay, so here we have the new setup with the mini Sanrio figures included. I thought that the case would be a little too empty taking out the Pucky figures, so I kept them there for now and just mixed in the smaller figures. Maybe I'll get some more smaller figures and eventually phase out the Pucky, but for now I think the theme works really really well since everything's cafe themed. Um, so here we have a little mix of Pucky, our Sanrio characters, super cute I think. Let me know what you think of this. I'll, I might move these around, of course, that's how we do. Um, but for now, this is what we're working with. And I'm pleased with it. So here is my mini claw machine and the new additions of Kiki and Tata and my little sea slug plushie mixed in with the plushies and balls that the claw machine came with. I just kind of spread throughout, adding some pops of color and cuteness, and I think it's really cute. I want to add some more blind box figures, miniature and regular size uh, to this, and maybe pull out some of the plushies and balls that the claw machine came with. Um, but for now, I think it's really cute. What do you think? Got little Tata captured by the claw. Some of the others just chilling. Yeah, this is one of the shelves in my display, the claw machine, and some other figures. This is kind of the um, least put together shelf in my display, just because it's the newest one that's gone up. But a little sneak peek at a collection tour for you while we're showing off the claw machine. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's super cute though. Uh, I'm excited to add to this and build upon it and fill it out and add some more lights. Um, for, for now, pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, adorable. I love this. I didn't really know where to put the little sea slug plushie because I didn't want it to get dirty or lost. And I didn't want it to be mixed in with the figure, so this is actually kind of perfect. Anywho, that's that. Um, back to our regularly scheduled program.